I'm here with Nate and Kelly from TKOR, and we're going to ramp up the liquid nitrogen rocket experiment that we've done before with Alex Mandel and David Dobrik. We're gonna try to have it not explode in their face, and we're gonna try to actually modify the container, the five gallon container, so that the rocket actually shoots more straight. Also with a dome up top, we're gonna see what happens. So we're gonna start with one of these guys right here, and then we're going to amp up to a two liter. And then eventually we're gonna get to a PET plastic container that's like a five gallon container, this guy right here. Now the reason, <laughs> this type of plastic right here is actually called polycarbonate. You can see there's a little line in the side and that's because these are fused together. These two bottles are made out of a plastic called PET. And this glass is actually blown out of like a little mold. And you have to use PET across the board for this. And so this five gallon container is also PET plastic. Now the reason you need that type of plastic is because this reaction works like this. You put a little bit of water in here, a liquid, and the liquid nitrogen sits on top. When you flip it over, the liquid nitrogen goes to the top of this bottle. It expands rapidly and pushes the water out, that thus creating jet propulsion and sends this into the air. If it expands too rapidly, it actually explodes. The container fails. And that's bad, even though some people think it's awesome. Just remember, we love you. Oh my God. Let's do it. Set the number one priority. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna say you're good. And you turn it upside down, quickly. Woo! I could've caught that! Perfect. We might even need more looking at it. I'm oh, real good at this guy. Oh wow. <laughs> you can really fill her up. Yep. I'm gonna keep going. You're good? Yeah. Hey, okay, good luck guys. KOR, you have. We're gonna scale up to the two liter. Doing all three, I feel like we definitely have this down. We're very comfortable with it. As we go up, the power gets more, but also the speed gets more too. So this next one's gonna be pretty powerful. Sounds kind of backwards, but you wanna make sure actually that you have a lot of water in the bottle. It's, it's okay if, you, if it like kind of is a dud, but if you don't have enough water and you have too much liquid nitrogen, that's where things go boom. So it's, it's roughly about the same every time. So it's like, you want about 20% of the bottle left open, and then you want to fill that with the nitrogen. almost as much liquid nitrogen as you can in there without it like pushing back out. All right, let's give it a shot. Perfect. Sign like a foot to look over here. All right. Uh, Two. <laughs> one. Oh, mother of one. Hey. All right, so that was too much liquid nitrogen, guys. It went up and then exploded back down, I think. <laughs> All right, so that's what we were talking about. If you put too much liquid nitrogen in this, it basically explodes because it has nowhere to go. So as you can see, it exploded out the top. Uh, it probably hit the ground here and it shattered the bottom too. The liquid nitrogen was just trying to get out of this bottle so bad that it just shredded it. Nice. That was the scariest moment of my life. Whichever you've been doing. I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah. All right, two. One. Catch it! Catch it! That was great. That worked wonderfully. That was awesome. Well, again. <laughs> So the one that I did, I added too much liquid nitrogen, it exploded right on, like right as it took off, it exploded. Nate was right in between, it was pretty much perfect. It was like the perfect launch. Callie, yours had not My enough. My was too high, yours was too cold. Which I <laughs> added relaxed. liquid nitrogen to hers, so I just like estimated poorly. So are we ready to go to the five gallon? I guess we are. Uh, but let's go bigger! I'm crossing my eyes, but you can't see it. Right there is good, yep. You just wanna be able to like see a thin layer in there. That's a full one of these, I think we're good. All right, yeah, let's give that a shot. All right. Hold it from the neck. Please be careful. Please be very careful. Three, two, one. Pull! Oh my God! God. Wow! 
Dude! That took off faster than I thought it was going. Yes. Like it started yeah. sooner. Wow. I didn't even have time to get it like, I don't know, I don't feel like I got it straight up and down. Maybe I overcorrected. Dude, that must have gone 300 feet. Yeah, that, that was is, so far. That is out there. Let's go, let's That's go capture it. How far do you think that was? I took about 60 paces to get here, assuming about three feet per pace. That's putting us at 180 feet away from where I launched and it went up probably at least 180 feet as well. That's insane. That was really cool. Rocket cam. Oh. Swings back this way. That's what happens if you don't add enough liquid nitrogen. You don't create enough pressure. Even though it was like in the perfect position, it just couldn't build enough pressure to actually get airborne. So a little bit more liquid nitrogen, not too much. Let's see what happens. comfortable with the five gallon container what we're gonna do now is we're going to put on a cap and some fins and all we're using is this polystyrene uh, half dome and then some um, foam board that was purchased at the store uh, and as you can tell the engineering is right on par with my channel <laughs> we got this we're using flight test foam core for this yep. one excellent well, so far, the only one who's done it correctly is Nate. Good. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I think it actually flew any better. Look at you, you're covered. Holy cow. You've got jet fuel all over you. Do not ah! get it. Just kidding, it's water. Bro, that was oh epic. That was pretty sweet. It was straighter, like everything about it was like right. Sweet. Yeah. Let's go get it. Yeah, yeah let's we get gotta it. find it now. <laughs> I wonder if it's still rolling. It's alive! Woo! <laughs> yes! <laughs> well, some of the fins a little the worse for the trip. It's like it flew. I got drenched. Yeah. It came down. Love it. Perfect. I was stoked. That was great. We started off with the small bottles. We learned a lot with the small bottles. Then we got to the two liter. We had one explode. It put terror in our hearts. Then we wore, we got up to the five gallon container and we had a couple biffs on my side. I just couldn't quite get the rockets to go into the air. Then when we put like the dome and the fins on, we just had absolute perfect success. <laughs> if you guys like videos like this, you're gonna love TKOR. Head over to their channel, there's a link in the description below. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you really soon.